looking back, you know, ever since I could remember, like when I was a little kid, um, I was always interested in making things. And, you know, working with my hands and being able to take something apart and put it back together. Um, and that, that, I guess, you know, continued. I, I studied architecture and eventually went into product design. I spent a lot of time thinking about how to design something. Flashlights have been around for a long time. Um, I mean, I, I guess maybe since batteries were invented and you could actually hold, you know, electrical illumination in your hand. You know, it used to, it used to be this way and we'd set it on fire. When we invented batteries, we can do this and nobody gets burned. Um, so part of what I like about the project is it, it's kind of reinterpreting a classic. I buy raw material and, you know, 12 foot long pieces of aluminum. Um, and that's, you know, solid bar stock. And so the first step is basically to cut all of the pieces to length. There's a lot of actually manual machine work that goes into these. There's a lot of, you know, hand finishing and filing and fitting just to, you know, make sure everything works perfectly. One, one thing that's really important to me in building these flashlights, because I can't manufacture every single piece, um, like the electronics and the glass window and, and things like that. It's just not practical. I, I look for the best components that I could get. Making a good flashlight is all about, you know, producing lumens out the front. So one of the places where I do not compromise at all is with the LED choice. So basically I specify from the manufacturer a very exact uh, tint and output for each LED. One of the things that is the most meaningful to me about this project is that I get to see it through from the very beginning to the very end. Um, and so I, you know, I can put, you know, sort of all of my thinking and all of my values and all of this, the decisions I make into that entire process instead of just like one little piece. I guess it's sort of historically significant for, for me to, you know, turn this into, you know, something that's about this size. And it's probably, I don't, I don't know, compared to that old flashlight, maybe a hundred times more powerful and it runs longer and it's really like being able to put the sun in your pocket and that's kind of cool. I don't, in my life in general, have the opportunity to blow people's minds that often. Um, but it's fun just to be able to walk around and put this in somebody's hand and they're either speechless or swearing or like getting other people to come look at it. You know, this represents my thinking and how I work and what I care about, you know, when I'm designing something. Um, for me to be able to, you know, design this from nothing uh, is, is sort of, this is my ultimate expression of a flashlight.